Yeah, today I'm going to show you the yellow cockpit, yellow extraction, or you can call that one. So it is going to be a business content data sources or business content extractors also we can call. How do we work with the yellow data sources? The first transaction code we have to use RSA 5. When you enter this RSA 5, it will take you to a screen call installation of data sources from business content. So, as we discussed earlier, we have to expand this SAP R by 3 system. Yeah. Then we have a lot of application modules are available. Under this, you can see yeah. that what are the data sources belongs to SAP LO, Logistics. So, as we discussed, how do you find out logistic data sources? You can open a new session. Whenever you open a new session, there is an option called Logistics. If you expand here, it will show you what are the logistics applications are belongs to. Under material management, uh, yes. Uh, you, you have to share your screen. Share screen is not shared. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the library will be closing. In okay, is it visible now? Yes, yes, can. Okay. <laughs> so, so go on a mute. Okay, first we need to find out what is a logistics. As we dis discussed in the previous classes, we're going to do today logistic extraction or LO extraction, or we can call business content data sources or business content extractors. So, first we need to find out what are the application falls under into logistics. If you come to SAP Easy Access screen, if you expand the logistic folders, you can see. For example, in a material management, what are the application falls under into logistics? Purchasing, inventory management, excise duty, lab lab. You can see this. Then sales and distributions, master data, sales support, sales, shipping, billing. So these are all the applications falls under into logistics. Then we have like this it goes. So if you want to work with your logistic data sources, first I need to go to transaction code called RSA5. If I go to RSA5, you need to expand your SAP R by 3 application component. You can see all the modules. Out of these modules, we need to identify what is our logistic modules. As we discussed earlier, a logistics modules is, for example, let's say SD. Okay, in SD, I told you that logistic applications has been, data sources has been named as item level, header level, scheduler level. So the data will be divided into three data sources. So for example, let's take this header, 2LIS underscore 11 underscore VAHDR. Okay, if you select this one, then go ahead and activate. First, you need to identify which data source you have to work. Then activate the data source. Once you activated the data source, then you have to go and check into post processing. What is this? RSA 6. Expand your application component. Expand your sales and distribution. Let's see that. By training system, it will be all the data sources will be activated, all the data sources will be available in post processing. But in real time, whatever the selected data source, unless until if you don't activate, it won't be activated. Unless until if you don't activate, those won't be available under post processing. But training system, everything is available. So don't worry about that one. So this is my data source 2LIS underscore 11 underscore. VAHDR. Okay, so once you've done this one, then I need to go for LO cockpit. What is the transaction code for LO cockpit slash LBWE? E stands for enhancements. Let's take that one. Okay, so once I come to this LO cockpit, this is a customization cockpit screen here. Now you need to first identify which data source you're working. I am working with the data source 2LIS underscore 11. What is 11 stands for? You can see here. The number 11 stands for SD sales. So you need to expand this. There you have an extract structure. Then expand this. There you have your 
data source to LIS 11 underscore VAHDR. So here we need to understand that whether you want to go for maintenance for your data source or not. If they ask you, please add a new fields into this data source. Then what I need to do, I need to select this VAHDR, the data source. It is in active. Whenever it is in active, I cannot do any maintenance. I cannot do any modifications. So first I need to make this inactive state. How can I do that? Click on active. Check this request. Automatically it becomes inactive. Once it becomes inactive, then you can go for maintenance. The maintenance, whatever you see on right screen in a black color, that is called communication structure. Whatever you see here, the left side, it is called extraction structure. So extraction structure, whatever the applications, whatever the fields you see in a black color, these are all the default. My system has been default added. Whatever you see in a black color, we added this customized. Okay, so these are all the customized. I can delete these things, but not this colors in a black because this is a C. I'm not able to even select it because we cannot touch this. System has been selected this by default. These are mandatory fields. These fields I can select it. I can move it to right side. I can delete it. Okay, forget about that thing. Now I want to add. I want to enhance. Do the enhancement to the my data source. Let's find out what is a fields you want to add. Let's say for example. what field we can add Let's say I'm going to want to add a cost confirmation. Select this, move the right side. It comes here. This is how you need to add a new additional fields. Then select it. Do you want to really confirm this status? Yes, in. Check for this request. That's a request workbench. this is how you add or this is how you take your data source for the maintenance see now click on continue see when I click on and continue this inactive state has been grayed out I cannot click on it why you need to save your data source open your data source here it is asking what are the fields you want to select see the cost confirmation has been hidden you need to uncheck this it should not be hide if you uncheck it will be displayed here then you can click on save then it will ask you continue now it is available click on active status to become active this is a on or off button if it is in active state if you click on it it will become inactive if it is in inactive if you click on it it will become active now it is an active state once you've done this one, you need to check in case if you want to make sure that you want to change your update modes. As we discussed in a previous class, we have a three different types of updates. By default, I have direct delta. Direct delta is nothing but if there is any new delta records loaded or created, it will be directly added into your delta queue. That is called RSA 7. If I select the queue delta, if any new delta records created that will be added into first extraction queue from the extraction queue it will be added into delta queue that is called RSA 7 if you added in anything called V uh, you know unserialized V3 delta V3 update it will be added into updated table from there it will add into RSA 7 that is called direct uh, you know delta queue so direct delta is nothing but your default option so it is directly updates any kind of 
newly added records or delta records so you need to careful which one you want to select according to your project requirement you can go ahead and select so right now i'm selecting a direct delta only so i don't want any other things once you've done everything what is the next transaction code first thing we need to go ahead and find out in rsa3 slash in rsa3 this is called extractor checker so two lis underscore 11 underscore VA H HDR okay then it will come everything then once you done this click on extraction it's a zero record so there is no data so why because we have not loaded the setup file why because it is a first loading we are loading doing a first time right so if it is a full load it has to go through the setup setup table if you remember that I have shown you one diagram in a previous classes full load goes to the setup table delta load goes to the via update modes okay now how do I fill up the setup table if you want to fill up the setup table the transaction code is SBI W go to SBI W once you done this expand this this is called settings for application specific data sources please expand this there is an option called logistics please expand this there is an option called managing extract structure expand this initialization expand this then there is an option called filling in the setup table expand this application specific statistical data expand this then you can see here what is our uh, the data it is what is the SD billing data or SD sales order data which one is ours we need to find out right so how do I find out this one they can go to there is a one more transaction code let me open slash o slash o l b w g you can check here what are the applications what is 11 SD sales our our application belongs to 11 because 2 LIS underscore 11 guys are you getting this yes kid Sureka are you getting this what is 11 yes, what I'm talking yes yes kid okay our application belongs to 11 so it is SD sales BW okay now I need to go to sales BW can you see here not billing it is sales then click on this your setup file will be filled up when you come here you need to enter a job name for example let's say job 3 I'm entering then it's going to pick up your system date this is a 9 9 2015 okay so it is a 5 is there make it as 9 9 2015 current date and current time is it's displaying 10 0 a but here current time is 7 13 a.m. so what I can do here 0 7 make it as 7 14 then click on execute this exactly one minute the system will be terminate the loading process so in real time will give for example 3 hours or 4 hours depending on volume data volume you will give more so particular time a date the system the loading the data into setup table will be terminated see right now I have given only one minute it runs till one minute it will stop it if there is a data it will fill up if there is no data it will show you zero records It runs till one minute. Kiran, one small question, Kiran. Mm -hmm. 
ఇంకా <laughs> Okay. So why I checked RSA3 first I am checking whether the data is there in the setup table or not. In RSA3 we got a zero records. Yes sir. That is the reason I am directly jumping into filling the setup table. What in case if it displays a number of record in RSA3 somebody Don't loaded already. So somebody has already done this filling, filling of the setup table. So what I will do okay. I will go to the LBWG I will delete the setup table data first. Okay. then i will refill if anybody okay. for example another one hour you come to the office you want to fill up the setup table first you will go and check it out whether the data is there if it is there you will first delete that you will fill up you with your data okay like that okay okay see it's now it's terminated after 1 minute once it is terminated now i need to go back to check rsa3 slash n rsa3 x square see now i got 990 records earlier it was zero right so the data has been loaded now i need to check whether my data source available in delta q or not rsa7 to lis underscore 11 va hdr okay yesterday we loaded va item v item va item 11 only right our was is va hdr vc hdr okay 11 it starts with only this two so our data source is not available here because there is no delta okay so this is a right perfectly working fine in case if it is available you need to come here and delete and you can check it out so once i done rsa3 extraction is done then what is the next step i need to log on to bw that's it guys is it clear now what you need to do in r, r by 3 side yes yes clear okay let me show you once again first step 1 if they ask in interview please give the steps step 1 first thing is rsa5 identify data source activate okay after rsa5 check your step 2 check in rsa 6 that is called post processing it should be available once it is done step 3 lbw e enhancement do enhancements for your data source then activate then say whatever it is okay once you save if you want to change you can change update modes direct delta q delta v3 serialized delta once you done this one check in rsa 3 if records found next step delete data in setup table transaction code lbwg 
If you want a specific SC14, specific, okay. ABWG. Then what I need to do next? Fill up the setup table. What is the transaction code SBIW? You need to find out what is your data source number. If it is 11, you need to select 11. If it is a 12, you need to select 12. Okay, you need to identify what is your data source. Once you fill up the setup table, then come back to RSA3. Do the extraction. Then that's it. Log on to BW. Okay, what is a BW set steps? RSDS. Next, activate data source. Okay, next what? Go to RSORBCT, that is called Business Content Data Source. A business content, go here and identify suitable data target for your data source okay then install your data target then come back to modeling screen then create transformation info package data guys is it clear yes kiran let's go to bw i'm inside bw now i'm opening a new session so rs ds Okay, what is my data source? Copy your data source, paste it here. Data source, replicate data source. <coughs> Done. Then go to RSA, first go to RSA 13, okay, slash n RSA 13, go here, first you need to right click on your source system, check, double click on it, it will take you to data sources, okay, what is your data source, find and search, it will find, can you see here, this is my data sources, okay, See, so somebody already created a info packages. Okay. Once, if it is not active state, it is already active state. Somebody has already worked with this. So, you can change and activate. Once you change and activate, the data source will be activated. Now, I need to go to RSOR BCT. Where is that? BI content. Open BI content. Once you open BI content, then you need to search for what is your suitable info data target. So if you're not aware of the technical name, still I can find out what is the technical name first before installing. First, I didn't, once you got the technical name, then you can go for installation. First, I will show you how to identify the technical name. That is taking too much time. Huh?
Ladies and gentlemen, the library will be closing in five minutes. Hello, Kiran. Please send out all library materials. Please take a photocopy and register for the library cards now. Raja, are you getting the screen? No, no, Sirika, I am not getting the screen. Even I can't hear the Kiran's voice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even I got the message waiting to view Kiran's screen. Even you are not getting the screen now? Yeah, yeah. I think he is disconnected. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is offline, uh, Rajat showing. Oh. Surika? Surika? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Yes, Raj. Yeah, Kiran seems to be online. But something somewhere the disconnection has been happening. Technically. But here it is showing the uh, organizer offline. It is showing. Yeah, hello. 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 Yeah, hello, Kira. Hello. Surika, yes, Surika. Yeah, yeah. You are telling something. No, no, what's going on <laughs> with the server? <laughs> From last, no, no, from last two, three weeks, uh, not working. the server is not so good. Yeah. yeah, actually, yesterday I was not able to open the BW also. I mailed to Ashwini, Venkat, Krishna, to all these people, but I didn't get any reply. Yeah. Till we pay the fees, everybody was fine. Everything was fine. Yeah, yeah Ashwini was so prompt and so confident till that statement was done. Like we yeah, used to get the reply within seconds, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> After paying no, the no response her. After the class, I'll call her. I think... <coughs> Hello, Kiran? Kiran is uh, still offline, uh, Raj. I see Kiran... Uh, uh, Something has login only. I think that's the previous status, I think, sir. Because uh, here it is showing still offline only in my screen. Mm -hmm. Then shall we disconnect? We'll wait and disconnect, Kiran. We'll wait for uh, five okay. minutes and then we'll disconnect. Okay. Because okay. It's in okay. A, we are in the middle of the topic now. So, how is your practice, Sureka? 
Mahatma Gupta Maharaj. Actually, as of now, I am concentrating much on theory. Mm hmm. Rather than okay, uh, okay. practice. Because it is taking a lot of time. Uh, yes, uh, Actually, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday I wanted to try all these extraction classes, but it's but no easy, no easy at all. Correct. And what about this uh, Sai and uh, Dinesh? No one is joining? No, no, Raj. Yeah, I think it's been so long that uh, they came to classes, they attended the classes. Yeah, now Kiran came? Yeah. Oh, Kiran has left now. Maybe he's uh, trying to reconnect him. Yeah. Yeah, hi guys. Hi, Kiran. Yeah, I, I don't know. My system got restarted. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, somebody can share. Where is this, guys? Then we didn't we didn't receive any ECC login so far. Uh, not ECC login you have not received. No, Kiran. In that fact, we sent so many mails also, but no response. From that the is uh, uh, you can try with your uh, this one uh, BW password. Are you able to log in? No, Kiran. From yesterday onwards, even no, BW okay. also we are not able to log in. Yeah, they, even I'm not able to log in. That's why I'm using a different system. I send a mail to them. Actually, what happens? Some student has been changed the server details. You're getting the point. There is a login okay. section, is there, right? What yeah. he did is he changed this one. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, screen share uh, option. Ah, uh, okay. I'll show you what they did is actually I'm in a new term, a different system. So what they did is actually even I'm not able to log in. I'm I'm using for all the classes today a new system. See the student went to this here, he selected a right click on it, you have a properties, right? If you change these things, it doesn't work. Okay. They have changed this one. BW is not working at uh, in the system. Whatever we did that. Okay. okay. I inform to them. Anyway, let's come to our business content. Yeah, this is our business content. Go to objects. In objects, go down. Here we are identifying what is my suitable data target for my data source it will give you list here you can find out here uh, what is that two allies right go to mm, copy this copy this data source okay now paste it here it will find out here okay so what in case if it is not finding here if it is not finding then we need to start creating our own customize then if you want to create your own customize first thing is you need to identify what are the fields are there okay then go to data sources change your data source ECC this is your HDR 11. Open this, go to the fields, identify what are the fields are there. Then come to BI content, then you need to start installing the fields. How do I install the fields? Go to info objects by info area. For example, let's search for one field. What is our field here? For example, let's say that VBELN. Okay. Then Info objects by info area. What 
what in case if my data target is find out last classes we have seen right you need to simply drag and drop and install your info cube or dso if it is not find out then what i need to do i have to create my own customized data target then i have to if i want to create my data target i need a fields info objects and i need a characters key figures then what i need to do uh, go open your data source check what are the info objects characteristic info objects key figure info objects available come here and install the required info objects then go back to modeling screen guys are you getting this it's taking too much time Okay, I think again it will take some time. So I'm not going to load the data today. I'll just show you how to create info cube. Loading data it will take a lot of time. So you can practice in your systems loading the data and everything. I'll show you till how to create transformation DTPs and info package. Then you can execute all of them. Okay, so now find out V B E L N. You can see here the VBLN is available. What is this not delivery? It is a sales and distribution. Drag and drop. Then select this installation. Then go for grouping is only necessary object. Collection mode is automatic. Install and install. Whenever I install and install, this VBLN will be available in the your modeling screen. Then go to modeling. Select info objects. Now search for B B E L N. Can you see here? It automatically comes here. Like this, I install all the objects. Then I'll go to info provider. I will create my own info cube. Since I have already my info objects, I will design my dimensions and fact file. How do I design the dimension? Your business user will give you the documentation how the diamond uh, info cube design should be there. That you don't need to worry. But they don't give you the steps. Please remember, they don't give you the steps how to create. But they will give you the design what has to be there. Okay, once you done the designing, very simple. Right click on info cube, create transformation, create DTP, create info package. Clear, guys? Yes. Surika. Like this, I can work with any module. All the logistic data sources. You can bring any data source. Not only from SD. You can bring from MM also. You can bring from PP. You have lot of data sources out there, right? Okay. You can go to here. You can check what are the data sources you can work. Where I can go and check. For example, you need to go to SAP Easy Access. Here you have so many modules are there. You can open any module. For example, quality management. I want to check under this quality planning, under quality planning, inspection planning, under inspection planning. So these are all the info cubes are there. So you can work with ins inspection planning data source, material specific data source. I have two info cubes under this. 
we can start working like this check what data source you want to work go to rsa file select your data source activate then start working clear guys yes so yes, rekha any questions yes yeah kiran kiran if let us say if you are working with multiple data sources in a, in a specific application component so where we have to link them kiran either in the ebc side or in the bw side uh, i mean uh, by linking the communication structure okay okay See, because you are working with the multi data sources that is only source you don't have any options to link source to source okay okay so once you come into this see uh, when we working with uh, uh, this one uh, master data we work the three data sources right yes yes we linked all the three data sources to one target the same similar way i can work okay sir okay. the one info queue we can load multiple data targets multiple data sources into one single info queue okay if you have a requirement like that otherwise okay. create one one info queue for one data source then go for multi provider okay. on top of that so all these three info queues i can add into multi providers okay clear yeah yeah yes sir that is our next class multi providers info is its our next class okay i'll show you there okay. how to do that <coughs> okay fine guys okay there okay. one more question kiran what is the difference between initialization and the full update mode kiran a both of them or any initialization is nothing but see whenever you doing the data loading first time okay yeah. so when i say full load that comes into there where in a dtp but if you want okay. to enable your data source for delta okay if okay. you want to enable your data source for delta then what i'll say that i will say data source for delta then i'll go for initialization info package update mode i'll go for initialization what does it mean initialization if you go for initialization then you will get update update options delta options otherwise you don't get anything let's say let me example let me show you here for example i go to uh, this one let's say i have one info package here what is update it's only full update why because yes. this data source is not delta enable okay, okay so now go to your info provider i have bought one data source right what is the data source let me check uh we need to change the source system check open this yeah now double click on this this data source is enable for delta okay see extraction mode delta process here they will enable it so now if i create any info package on top of this create info package for example let's say test go to update can you see here when i enable this delta i got more option you getting my point sureka yes kiran now if i say initialization initialization delta in the sense it is getting ready for delta so it will do full load here first after full load then what happens is you have a option initialization with data without data you have select with data will be default this is a initialization okay. with a delta process then i will extract the data the data will be loaded full then if okay. i want only delta records i need to create one more info package okay. that info package you will have only delta here under full up there won't be initialization again you getting my point Yes, yes. Yes, yes. We have if you, if you see this our delta class if you remember our delta class we have created two info packages if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. See, yeah, one first for full upload, other for delta. Yeah, delta. first info package you need to make initialize delta. This option will be available only when your data source is delta enabled. Otherwise, it won't mm -hmm. be displayed. It will be displayed only full update. 
clear? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, Kiran. Now it's clear. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, Kiran, in this elbow uh, work update, uh, there are three uh, three update methods, no, Kiran. In Q delta and unserialized uh, V3, uh, does it maintain the sequence, uh, Kiran? What is this? What, what do you mean by sequence? Sequence means like uh, like uh, first in uh, uh, first in first out, first out time that's all. Like I mean uh, like for few transactions, like the timing also very important, no, Kiran. For for uh, those kind of records, I'm asking. Like whatever uh, is the first uh, first um, update or change or something, whatever happened to first record, that will enter mm. first into the lower like that or all uh, at a time group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, you mean that is uh, like a priority? Yeah, 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 kind of. Yes, yes, it goes to the Q delta. Whatever comes first, sir, first, uh, first basis. Okay, okay. See, it doesn't mean that you know I I have updated some record in the morning. And updated record in the evening, then which one will execute first? It will execute morning one only. No, but for this we have to again this V3 uh, V3 collector and should be there no option. Yeah, V3 have again options are there in a V3. You can go for that one later. But you know, in a yellow cockpit we have only three this update modes. Yeah, yeah. It is only for delta purpose we use. Yes. Okay, so in this delta, you need to identify what is the difference in between this. It has to go through extraction queue. It has to go to the update table, or it has to go to directly to the delta queue. Then depends on your requirement. You can select whatever suitable option is there. Okay, By default, okay. will be always direct delta. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Thank you.